Hi, this is Bob again. It's time to continue on with our dramatic series of uh, how to add drama or dramatic uh, techniques to to an image. And one of the ways I'm going to do that in this image is with this tree. Not, I'm not going to take the the whole image. We're just going to work on a part of the image. And I'm going to I've selected this tree, and I'm going to add a little dramatic lighting to that. And one of the ways I'm going to do that is, uh, uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, use the quick mask. And uh, to get to the quick mask, you just hit the letter Q on your key keyboard. And there we go. Now I've got to ch choose a brush. Um, let's see, that's 13 pixels. And maybe... For this image here, probably around 52. Yeah, 52 seems to be just about right. Now, yeah. Basically, what I want to do is going to select this whole tree with one one stroke of the brush, and I'm going to go up here. Also, I'm going to change the hardness to this to about 50 uh, percent, somewhere thereabouts. Anyway. Okay. Now I gotta reduce it just a little bit. It's gotta fit within the tree itself. I'm gonna follow along the left side of the, the, uh, tree. And you can see how I'm doing this. Just following along. I'm not concerned so much about the right side of the tree. I just wanna get alongside the left side of the tree here. And that should be about it right there. Hit Q again to get out of the quick mask. And see, now we've got our selection, but you'll see the marching ants going around the side of the the whole image here. What we have to do is we have to inverse that selection. And the way we do that is hit Control, Shift, and the letter I. That inverts the selection, and now I've just got the selection on the tree itself. Next thing we want to do is we want to save that selection. So we go up to the menu here, select, save selection, and I'm just going to put, uh, name, save the selection, and I'm just going to save this selection as tree. Okay. Now I can hit control D to deselect. <clears throat> now, here comes the, the cool part. I'm going to create a, um, an adjustment layer for levels. Hit the adjustment layer, levels, and I'm just gonna, and I'm just gonna hit OK. Now here's the mask for the adjustment layer. We haven't, I haven't adjusted any, any levels at all, but I wanna make this black, so I'm gonna just hit Control I to inverse the color to make that black. Now I'm gonna go up to the selection, I'm gonna load that selection I just saved. Load the selection called tree. And there it is. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is with my foreground as white, I'm going into the gradient, uh, tool and I want to select the foreground to transparent. Now, what we're going to do is simulate light coming from the left side to the right side of the tree. Now, what we're going to do that is notice that the angle of the tree. Uh, so I'm going to move my selection from here slightly at a small angle downward. And here is the selection. You can't see it yet on the mask. Okay, I'm going to hit Control D. Now I'm going to adjust the levels. And watch the tree as over here as I do this. I'm going to start to brighten it up a little. You see how I'm visually adjusting it. 
It's a little too much up here, but down here it looks like I'm uh, I'm successful. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, you can obviously see up here it's a little bit too much, but if we go to the mask and we we can take away some of that by just painting some black back in there, right about in here. What I'm going to do is going to go to the opacity and bring that down just to about, oh, 30% or so. And, and, and I'm just going to take some of that away. Not that much. Okay, now, now I'll go back in here and readjust. And that looks about right. <clears throat> now for an added extra bonus attraction, what another thing I can do is add a photo filter to this. Adjustment, photo filter, hit OK. Now that just made the whole image the photo filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this this uh, this mask onto the photo filter. And the way I do that is clicking on this mask while I'm hitting down hitting on the Alt button. I drag it up to the photo filter, and it and it's asking me, do I want to replace that layer mask? Yes. So now the photo filter is the same as the levels mask. And now I can adjust the uh, photo filter. And let's see, I can, there we go. And now we've got some dramatic lighting on the tree itself. <clears throat> this is the uh, tree, the tree before we did our uh, modification. This is the tree before we did our modification, and this is after. Before and after. It'll, just to give you an idea about what you can do to add subtle, dramatic changes to your photographs. And that's it. Thank you.